All right, let's start building the cluster, shall we? So first things first is let's take a quick look. You'll notice that this is a standalone box, right? If you take a look, there it is. It's only one. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a token, right? And then we're going to go to the second host and then add the second host to the cluster. All right, so join existing, point to the original logs server, enter in the code, and away we go. But here's the deal though. Adding one box into it doesn't make it a cluster. You need to add three or have three in total. So let's do it again. Let's copy yet another token. Okay. So let's go over to the third. Now we join it again, once again, send it to the primary and then enter in that particular token. Right? As soon as we do that, what we're going to notice is that we're going to have a fully functional cluster, right? So there are three boxes, one that's primary, right? But you can jump onto any one of those, but ideally you want to create a VIP, right? Which means that this IP address will act as the other three, right? So you enter that in and you save it off. So as you can see, it's starting to build in progress, right? It's going to take a little bit for the VIP to come online, but the ultimate goal is, is from now on, you got a 225 instead of 220, 221, 222, right? And by doing that, no matter which box is online, which box is primary, you will always get access to the cluster. Okay, so let's take a quick look. All right, there are three hosts, right? The primary versus the load balancer. And then, of course, at the bottom is the load balancer IP.